find, <laughs> finding a lot of like cigarette butts and gum. We've talked about this. Yes. Not a lot of trash. It was kind of impressive that da the park blocks anyway were pretty clean. Oh, we're very clean. So yes. good job to you out there for keeping the streets clean. But you know, when you add up all of those cigarette butts, oh, it does start to weigh in on a that lot. number. Yeah. And it's not what you want to see when you're out walking around on a nice day like today. Uh, yes. Today yes. is a day to spend outdoors as we continue to see that sunshine mm. rain down here across the Pacific Northwest. And why not take a trip across our highest peaks over the Cascades? There's Mount St. Helens off in the distance with a live look over downtown Portland on this Wednesday afternoon. Currently holding steady at about 62 degrees. Jenny and I were talking earlier. The sunshine, it feels nice, but still some of those shady spots on the cooler side, but that will be changing by the time we get to the afternoon hours as winds remain out of the west at about 6 miles per hour. Out to Mount Hood Meadows we go. 54, very comfortable skiing conditions out that direction with nothing but bright blue and sunny skies. And finally ending out with Mount Adams from the Dow's where we're already into the mid 60s for this hour. Only expected to climb up into the mid 70s this afternoon after we saw some high thin cirrus clouds march their way from the northwest down to the southeast. But that's now starting to clear, giving us those sunny skies and eventually those warmer temperatures for the rest of this afternoon. As we are expecting to warm up into the mid 70s for the Portland metro area, the further south you go, look at Medford expecting to get up into the mid 80s and it's not just just those of us here in the Pacific Northwest, but all of the West starting to feel the summer heat once again return. We're talking about 90s in Southern California, all thanks to this ridge of high pressure that continues to build just offshore. It really drives the jet stream further to the north, allowing for those warmer temperatures to usher their way back into the Pacific Northwest. It's going to go from winter to about two to three days of spring all the way to summer within the next 24 to 48 hours. But we do have a cooling trend just off to the west that does make its appearance by about Sunday or so. But it's not only this ridge of high pressure that is bringing us the heat, but we've also got downsloping winds. So that's where winds on the east side of the mountains start to rise. But once they get over that peak, they start to dip into the lower elevations. When they do that, they dry out, they cool or warm up, I should say, and they also tend to speed up. So that's going to be another mechanism that we start to see with these warmer temperatures that could potentially be breaking some records by Friday. The gray bars, that's our forecasted daytime high temperature, the orange one. That's where we currently hold steady with our record breaking temperature at 82 degrees on Friday. Last set back in 1998 and 98 was a hot year for us. That was the hottest record that we ever saw in the month of April out at PDX was 90 degrees on April 30th of 1998. But we're not expecting to get that warm as our afternoon temperature today gets back up into the mid 70s. It will be a warmer day for us here as those clouds continue to part ways with winds out of the northwest at about 5 to 10. Tonight we fall to the upper 40s, so very comfortable even during the early morning hours as those winds still relatively calm, but they do start to pick up as we approach Friday. Friday, oh, Coin six weather alert day that is all due to the potential for those records to be broken, and it's also just a major jump in the temperature than what we've seen. You got to keep in mind most of the month of April, we've been about 10 to 15 degrees below normal. Now we're going well above normal that normal being about 64 degrees. So mid 80s is going to feel like a blast from the furnace for us as we move towards the weekend, but then we cool things back to normal conditions next week at least. We're done with the 50s. Yeah, that will, that, at least we're done with the 50s and at least yeah. the 80s are only a couple days because that can be. I mean, I know a lot of people probably going to want to get yard work done and that's that's a little hot. It is. You yes. got to remember to drink your water yeah. before that hot day and, mm -hmm. and take breaks in the shade too. Take some breaks, lots yeah. of breaks and snacks. Yeah, Ooh, you like snacks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with more news and a final check on that forecast.